Health news this morning for a big name. The former governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, is reportedly in stable condition this morning after he had emergency heart surgery. He went in for a pre-planned, less invasive procedure, but due to complications, it turned into that emergency open heart surgery. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is in L.A. with more. And Marcy, judging by the first words out of his mouth, out of surgery, Schwarzenegger is already on the road to recovery. Exactly. The governor is never one to miss a play on one of his catchphrases. And his spokesperson says it shows he is in good spirits as he recovers this morning here in Los Angeles. After emergency open heart surgery, Arnold Schwarzenegger's spokesperson says the first words out of the former California governor and Hollywood superstar's mouth. I'm back. Back on the mend after what was supposed to be a less invasive procedure to replace a valve put in back in 1997 because of a congenital heart defect. Schwarzenegger opening up to Barbara Walters about complications that followed that surgery. It was a year unlike uh, any other year I've ever had because there was uh, uh, you know, great success with the movies and great success with the business, but then bang, all of a sudden there was this down where I was lying in a hospital with a heart operation. You could have died. Were you scared? I was very scared. Uh, you're right, I could have died. More than two decades later, the now 70-year-old spokesperson says the valve had outlived its life expectancy, so Schwarzenegger chose to replace it, making a last-minute decision to cancel a trip to Washington, D.C. I'm sorry I cannot be with you today. To undergo surgery. His spokesperson writing, during that procedure, an open-heart surgery team was prepared in case the catheter procedure was unable to be performed, which is what happened, the medical team calling the operation a success. And again, we're told he is in stable condition. His rep praising the team at Cedar sinai Hospital for what he calls their tireless efforts. Dan and Paula. Marcy, thank you. Let's bring in ABC News Chief Medical Correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton. Uh, Jen, good morning. Good morning, Thanks you for guys. Coming in. Okay. So he went in for one procedure and then ended up having another. Is that common? Not only is it common, here's the really important point about this story, whether you're having heart surgery, you're having your appendix removed, when you talk about a minimally invasive procedure, for, for heart surgery, this goes on all the time, as it does for the rest of the body. There is always the possibility of needing to convert to what's called an open procedure. It's on the surgical consent. The teams are ready. They are prepared to do it. And the patient needs to be ready, at least mentally, if mm -hmm. not also physically, that this can happen, either for technical reasons or if you get into bleeding, you convert, and that conversion can occur in, in seconds or minutes. He'd had several procedures leading up to this point because he was born with a congenital Right. heart defect. How is that spotted? Well, congenital heart defects by the numbers much more common than people think, Paula. It occurs about 1% of all births in this country, so just around one per every 100, 120 babies. A lot of those defects are picked up in prenatal ultrasounds. You know, they, we are looking at that fetus all the time, and a lot of those will require surgery immediately after birth. But then there's a whole range of patients, adults, who are living with adult congenital heart defects that are usually picked up if they have symptoms, shortness of breath, um, difficulty with physical exertion, and then sometimes they're treated surgically. Mm -hmm. He's admitted in the past to using steroids, yeah. says he has no regrets. Could that be a factor in what's happening now? You know, there was a study last year that was done out of um, Mass Massachusetts General Hospital that showed that bodybuilders who use steroids did have a negative effect on the arteries, plaque buildup, the heart muscle, not so much heart valves, but to be clear, steroids, they might give you big muscles, but they are not good for the rest of the body. Jen Ashton, we appreciate it. Thank you, you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.